Yeah, it's facing us. Well, there's that button. That... Hit that button first. Okay, we did it. Okay, you ready? <sighs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. We are going live just during the day here because we think we're within an arm's reach of hitting the 100,000 subscriber mark. So I'll be watching the count on my phone while you all are logging in and watching this live. Uh, we got Piney and Parker with us. We got Oliver with us. And this is the uh, first day really working on my project down here. I made these wind rows of brush so I could come and cut the firewood out of it easily. And then use this project as a training tool for Oliver. So I'm gonna get started and uh, move him over here and get the uh, first load of wood picked up. Yep. And Hold then... on, stay here for a second. Okay. I'll get Oliver fixed right. Okay. Oliver, put that away. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> okay, so if you can hear us and see, let us maybe comment and let us know. That would be great. I'm changing just a few settings before we get started. Becca. Are you ready? Yeah, you can come over. Oliver was not being very appropriate. <laughs> well, he just said the sun felt so good. And he was relaxed here because yeah. I've been working for 30 minutes or so on the firewood. And he just kind of got too comfortable. Yep. So we're going to load up the wagon with firewood and then take it to Grandma and Grandpa's? Yep. Yep. So basically, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe for us because, I mean, I think we're at like eight. We need 80 more subscribers to hit that 100,000, yep. right? Yep. Yep. We're in the so. 900 and teens. The yeah, we're pretty. 99,000. We're ooh, pretty ooh. excited about it. Okay, I'm gonna try to get him moved over to the right spot. Yay! You can hear and see. <laughs> and then can we read the comments? And we can read the comments oh. this time. Yep. Back up. Back. 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 Back up. Back up. There you go, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. A wee. A wee. A wee. A wee. A wee. What a good boy. So Oliver has gotten a few other loads of firewood up by our house but not from down here. So this will be a first for down here. And since he's not doing just perfect on standing still, I had Emery park the four-wheeler here. Step up. He's still learning on standing, yeah. Walk. Walk. <laughs> Oliver with the best Walk. eyebrows. Walk. Stand. Someone said. So now I can use the four-wheeler to tie him off and help him learn patience. That's one of the main things I'm wanting him to learn down here. Yeah, get closer. So yeah, sorry. Talk. Here what we go, guys. The main things I'm wanting him to learn down here is patience on how to stand and behave. So that's why, like, I brought him down here and left him while I cut instead of going back and getting him once I had wood cut. Like, yeah. I could come down here on the four-wheeler, cut the wood up, then come down here and pick up wood and go, and he would have to be patient. But bringing him lets him learn patience and eventually I want to be able to just ground tie him <laughs> where I don't have to uh, tie him up to something to be able to load my firewood. Uh, there is a video I did with him on ground tying in the round pen te mm -hmm. teaching yeah. him to woe. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I believe it was called every every horse should woe. Yeah. Something so like go that. back and watch that but I, I've only worked with him a couple times. Aww. Today before I hooked him up I did another lesson on trimming and teaching him to keep his foot up on the tripod. Mm -hmm. And you know, I would send him in the round pen if he removed his hoof without permission, make him trot. And if he left it there for a couple seconds, I'd give him a treat and then take the foot down. And you know, he picked up on it really quick because he's always been a fast learner. Hey, so, somebody's asking, isn't this dangerous what you're doing with him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah it is. Everything's, everything in a work environment and logging and stuff's gonna be dangerous, but that's, they gotta learn, um, you know. It's mostly dangerous because he has no experience yet, but the only way to get experience is to jump right in the fire. Yep. And uh, it's not just horribly dangerous. I mean, things could go wrong, but I'm 
got a lifetime of experience, you know, to try to mitigate those things and to deal with them when they do go wrong. So yeah. it's not for beginners, but it's got to be done to, to progress. Uh, Can't live in a bubble wrapped society. <laughs> okay, time to load the firewood. And Jerry, you forgot to put the other seat on, but I can just walk and film. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Um, there's ways. You can sit and film and I can stand and lean against the front. Well, so. he walks so slow I can keep up with Oliver. <laughs> Come around back and you can watch me load. Well, they might. I was going to show him his beautiful eyebrows. Forgive any code browns. I should have put my overalls on. Oliver. Say hello to everybody. Hi, bud. You look creepy in the sunshine. Huh? Okay, let's go see JR load the firewood. So, this is a tiny trailer, but the next step up in trailers that I have is too big because I don't want to overload him until he's a professional, you know. What time is it over here? Um, it. I, I'm not sure on the time, but it's like 1.30, between 1.30 and 2 right now. We're Central Standard Time, I think. If you, uh... Yeah, so Shelly says she meant the quad is on wheels and not a solid fixture like a tree would be. Oh, yeah, but I, that's why I had her parked sideways. Yeah. So, that if he goes forward or backs up... It's not going to pull yeah. back and forth, yeah. And he is not reactive, so even if he does do something and the quad moves a minute, he's he's going to stop soon. Yeah. You know. But that's yeah, that's what exactly why I didn't park it head on. Someone says the picture is blurry. Yeah. Well, honestly, I was a little worried about doing a live down here because um, so let, I'll show you real quick. Here is the county road, and um, so we got to go off way that away and then we kind of go up on a hill and the signals better that up that way so down here the signals not as good once we get up there maybe that will change a little bit and it might be there for stuff it too. might be your setting too but you know lives aren't the uh, you know the best quality i guess uh, but um i actually am getting a new phone here shortly so hopefully that will help with the lives the quality of them i'm hoping do you keep horse treats with you to reward Oliver for his patience? In the round pen when I'm working on shoeing or something like a trick like keeping the foot up, I did have a lot of treats today. But as a general rule anymore, since he got to head button me, I've quit the treats when I'm actually working him or doing anything. Just because of that head button thing that he's been doing where he yeah. wants a treat and he nudges me with the nose. Hey. Yeah, he just can't do that anymore. That's just too dangerous. He actually did it to Isaac the other day. Um, so. <laughs> you know, and something would be neat to show him. Walk him over, or walk him around that cottonwood tree because that's the, I got, you know, between me and dad, we've got 500 and something acres. Who's good at math? I got 168, dad's got 283. What's that added up? <laughs> so what, Tell this me. is the biggest tree on the farm? But on, on all of that property, this is the largest okay. tree. Okay, this tree right and no, here. No, I'm not gonna damage it. Go walk over and walk Hold around. Hold on, I will. That's the largest tree we have. Well, I will do. We'll go see it. It doesn't show on camera how 451 someone said it doesn't show exactly we need somebody standing by it to show how big it is what kind of tree is it cottonwood cottonwood tree we'll probably see the new mayor somebody was just asking about her on our way back um standing out in the field she was right by the fence when i drove by earlier maybe this will do it justice to show how big the tree is <laughs> Pretty cool. Somebody asked if we're gonna get a, a play button when we hit 100,000. I really don't know. I haven't looked at, up what changes with your channel when you hit 100,000. Uh, I know that there are a few different things that change. What's a play button, JR? 
I think they're talking about the plaque that we oh, get. Oh, we call it the plaque. Yeah. I, I think we do get one. I don't know. Yeah, we'll but. get one. And more than that, why we think, why, what I'm <laughs> hoping for, what I care about for the 100,000, I've noticed on a couple of my favorite channels that I watch, like Greg Judy and Tara Farms. Like Tara Farms, has, her YouTube channel is five years old, so three years older than ours. She hit 100,000 subscribers last month, and in one month since then, she's got a 65,000 subscriber bump. Oh, wow. Same thing with Greg Judy. He hit his three or four months ago, and, it just, and he's doubled, and yeah. his thing was a couple years old, you know? So, um, what I've been told by people that don't really know what they're talking about, but maybe do, no more than me, is that there's certain advertisers that only advertise on larger channels and like the cutoff would be a hundred thousand and higher they'll advertise on those channels well the more ad revenue you're generating sure it's great for us but it's also good for youtube so if you're making youtube more money they're going to show your videos to more people and we'll be able to reach a larger audience don't worry about him i'm taking care of the horse then. so um somebody said you have to um actually send in or do something with your channel uh to youtube in order to get the plaque yeah we know how dad dad's channel my dad's channel rosa Stringworks, hit a hundred thousand last month oh well and he sent and got his plaque already oh jared knows how i have and, not even uh, looked it up <laughs> i have no idea but now that hundred thousand bump that i was hoping for my dad did not see any of it so yeah. it may not be a real thing we will see either way it's exciting yeah either way it's a milestone our goal yeah. Our, at New Year's last year, our New oh, Year's yeah. resolution I was to hit uh, was to hit ten thousand. Ten thousand by the end of the year. That was our goal. <laughs> so pretty cool. So God really blessed us this year, and yeah. it's hard to keep that in mind because just like today, sometimes you just get bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Today I I had to work on my chainsaws for two hours to come down here and cut wood for thirty minutes, mm -hmm. and both of them in that thirty minute broke again. And it's the problems I was working on to fix. So it's just, you let that stuff get to you. You gotta and let, keep it in the front yeah. of your mind. Yeah. Then Emery come down here and the, the gimbal wouldn't work. And you know, just, <laughs> yet today is a beautiful day and we're 10 times more yeah. blessed than what we asked for, for yeah. the year. Yeah, that's And true. I still don't know how to ugh, get rid of it and be happy yeah. sometimes. Oh, but yeah, sometimes, yeah. yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. But I'm working on it. Oh, and you mentioned the gimbal. If Ernie is watching from our Patreon, uh, we're using your the gimbal you sent us, Ernie. So thank you. It makes I think it's making the video a lot more smoother. Yeah, it is. Ernie obviously has some technology knowledge because anytime we have a tech problem, he messages. Yeah. And usually follows up with trying to help us fix it. Yeah. We are not awesome. technology people. Like, yeah, we aren't. <laughs> like to get the gimbal to work, we have to get Isaac. Be like, <laughs> Isaac, son. show us how to start it again, yeah. you know? And then, Isaac's or a even, good tech person. Even like our computer, I got a new computer this year and um, I have to uh, call our friend all the time with questions on setting it up and doing this or doing that on it, so. But we're learning. We actually didn't even have a cell phone or a computer in our home until we moved here. So it's only been 2016. Yeah, yeah we never and, owned a computer. Yeah, until then we yeah, we were old school. So this we're still like trying I was to catch up. The last person I know to get a smartphone, I kept my yeah, flip me too. phone until Oh yeah. Until 2016. We yeah, we've only had smartphones for like 4 years now, I think, I, or something like that. Yeah, and it's getting boring watching you load wood. We're going to go see Oliver. Here we are, social media influencers now. <laughs> no name for the new mayor yet. Not, no, we haven't. Me and JR keep calling her Olivia because we think it suits her so well with Oliver. But Becca uh, just despises that name and she loves the horse. So I feel too bad. I feel bad calling her um, that. So we're kind of um, on the fence on what to name her. Somebody mentioned the name um, Oakley, Oliver and Oakley, and I thought that was really cute. Um, somebody said, what was another name? There's a couple names that we've heard, but we don't, we, we haven't decided yet. We'll try to decide here in the next couple days and then we'll do a, get a video out and announce her name. 
If you have um, any more name suggestions, let us know, though. A lot of people were saying opal, um, but that just doesn't seem to suit her. Like, it looks sounds cute with opal and oliver, but if you're around the horse, it doesn't seem quite right. Holly, Liv. Oh, yeah, a lot of people have said twist, but that doesn't... You think twist suits her at all? I don't think it suits her either. It needs to be kind of... She's just a really, really, really sweet personality. So, like, Olivia suits her. Oakley suits her. Um, I don't know. Uh, somebody said Misty Rose. That kind of suits her okay. But, like, other people said, like, Nancy. Um, and, and, like, I don't know. Those... It just, it just okay. doesn't work with her. Come around here, Ann. Well, they're all putting in names. I'm reading them. <laughs> All right, Peaches. So <laughs> That's cute. This is a pretty comfortable seat. Okay. So you can sit here once we get going, and just at the hill, I'll have you walk off, get off and walk. Okay. And then I'll rest him at the top when you get back on. Okay, look where I get to sit, guys. It's pretty comfortable, actually. <laughs> well, I'll just wait till you get on the road. Yeah. But I also can walk along with him, too. Well, on the flat ground, it won't add any resistance. Doesn't make it harder having more weight on wheels, you know? Yeah. Unless you're on a hill. Yeah, Nancy was Oliver's mother in the musical. Yeah, I that, I like the idea with the story behind it, but then when you go and call her Nancy, it's like, eh. It, Have you ever met no, a nice Nancy? It's not. It just doesn't suit her. <laughs> Harmony, Desert Rose, Livy. A lot of people are saying Livy. Bubbles. Bubbles. I want to name her Bubbles so bad, but our friend has a horse. Her name, and she's a a, re, a red roan or a bay, bay roan. But he sold her. Oh, he did. Oh, her name was Bubblicious, oh. but and I, uh, I didn't realize it, and I came up with the name Bubbles. I thought that was so cute. Maybe Back we up. should name her Bubbles. Back. Bubblicious too. Back. Back. I'm coming right where you're at. By okay. The way. Back. Back. Back up. Back up. Back. Back. Good boy. Back up. Back up. Back up. Good boy. Back up. Back up. <laughs> I saw your comment, Kelly. I don't know if I Back guess up. that might be a name like that. I'm not sure. Back. 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 Back, back. Ooh, what a good boy. What a good boy. Can you back a little more? Back, 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 back. Yeah, a lot of people are saying they're sticking with Olivia. I kind of like it too. We back. just have to talk back, back into up. it. Back. There he goes. Good boy. Piney, get out of there. Good boy, Oliver. Oh, 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 oh. You sure you want me to get on? Yep. Okay, oh. good. Let me pull my pants up first. <laughs> it sucks having a gut and no butt. Oh. Stay in there. Okay, here we go. Let me get him standing still first. Okay. Okay, that's good. Stand, buddy. This piece of wood's in my way. I get caught. I'm not very fast at moving. Whoa. Okay, guys. Is that good, Em? Yeah, I think it's a pretty good view of him. Don't complain if I gotta tap him. Oh. He gets lazy and I have to use it to direct him. Good boy. Oh, he wants to draw it. He ain't being lazy. Yeah. I'll just let him draw it if he wants to. Okay. So, as you know, if you're just tuning in, we're trying to get the 100,000 subscribers. So, if you are not subscribed and you subscribe while watching this 100,000 uh, drive, put it in the comments so we know how many we're gaining. And when we get up to the house, I'll look at my phone again let you know how many we've gained. Get up, bud.
Well, I normally, when I'm going to do a live with you guys, I put my coveralls on. I just didn't think of it today. Easy. Easy. Good boy. Good boy, Oliver. Everybody's going crazy with name choices. I can't read them all right now, guys. I'll have to go back and look at them. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Oh, bud. Oh. Okay, so get off. Yeah, get off, and I'll let you get ahead of me and give him a little oh. breather. Okay. There's... Oh. We got some family coming over. <laughs> I'll, I'll move over to the right and let them by. Walk. Go on up to the top of the hill then. Okay. Two, two. Oh. Oh. Okay, you gotta walk with me to the top of the hill. <laughs> Mom Piney. Mom Parker. Somebody says beauty for a name, Holly for a name, Ivy for a name, Livy. A lot of people are saying Livy or Liv. Hopefully we'll see her here in just a minute. I might get out of breath, but this hill is a lot bigger than it looks like, guys. <laughs> we got family coming over. You're on YouTube Live, sorry. YouTube Live, you, you totally understand. <laughs> Hi guys, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Lydia, that's pretty. Twist, a lot of people have been saying twist. That was my sister and her family. She's actually expecting her sixth baby. <laughs> Here he comes, guys. up over his hip now pull towards he's too tall not forward you're pulling forward pull toward you this way yes like that yes okay oh, i mean it's just like fixing your bra i am come on oh oh see oh i didn't know how much it needed to come over oh okay get back to your spot oh I pull my britches up again. Oh. Stan, bud. Woo. Stan. Oh. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Well, he's got to get his feet still before I can let him walk off. Hello from Ohio. Stan. We have some family that lives in Ohio. Dayton, yeah. Dayton, Ohio. Walk. Good boy. Suspenders for Christmas, Patricia says. <laughs> I've got two pairs of overalls that I normally wear for this. Uh, somebody, and I'm working on the gut. Oh, somebody just said Jared must be losing weight, getting him a tighter belt. Yeah, I, I quit drinking soda three months ago. I was drinking like six to eight Cokes a day. That didn't help at all. As a matter of fact, I gained 10 pounds. Then I quit. I didn't quit sugar, but drastically reduced sugar. Like I'm not eating candies and cookies and desserts and lemonades and sweet teas and stuff like that anymore. Might still have maple syrup on my pancake in the morning or something. And uh, only drinking water, a little bit of alcohol at night, maybe some wine. <laughs> but just basically water, one cup of coffee a day. I quit adding sugar to my coffee. Trying to get down to about, I don't know, more just whatever I can get down to naturally 
so that I'm a little bit easier on them young horses I need to ride. Walk a little faster. They're, they're still talking about the new horse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that new horse is stout enough. She can carry me as is. I can't wait to ride her. She, I wish you could all meet her. I mean, besides, and like in real life, she has a very, very sweet personality. Walk up a little faster, bud. Hopefully she's right up here, out in the pasture. We will see. Got to get Oliver reshod too. His feet are getting long. He's starting to click. Is that what's causing it? There's quite a few people saying harmony. Yeah. Can you guys see how many subscribers we're at on your? Uh, oh yeah. If you can see how many subscribers feet? we're at, let us know. Here comes Bob. This is our, our Walk up, stallion, buddy. Bob. He always enjoys it when Oliver's going down the road. <laughs> oh, oh, bud. Whoa. Everybody just says 99.9. .9. Oh, all the mares are running over there. They all gone it. They ran off. Okay, let's drop. Let's drop, bud. There she is. I don't know if you can see her. She's way down drop. there. We'll have to do a live with her, maybe. That would be fun. Here, I'll show you Bob. He's right here. Look at his walk, man. He can really reach that front end. Look at the amount of stride he has. And then look, try to keep an eye on where his front foot was and where his back foot lands. He's so great. He's very gated. You are alive across the world, Bob. He looks just like Trigger off of Roy Rogers. Probably should have, but he can do it. Good boy. See, he just right there, he just figured out that he can if he leans into it. Like he leaned forward. Get up. Get up. And that's really good for him to learn that he has to lean and push into it because this ain't that hard. Uh, two Shetland ponies could carry this load. We'll give him a break at the top. Ooh, don't get too close to the edge over there. Whoa. Whoa. Here, I can get off and walk for we're, a bit. It's all downhill from here, hon. Okay. Don't worry about it. And I got brakes. Just needed to give him a break. Oh, oh. How many people have we got on the line? Uh, 415. Okay. So of that 415, if 60 of you, whoa. Stan, he mm. needs to learn patience. If 60 of you aren't subscribed and you subscribe, we'd hit our 100,000 by the time we unload this wood. Stan, bot. <laughs> Stan. Oh, Good buddy. boy. Somebody just, I know like on, I don't even know like how all this works, but there's like somebody sent us a gift and I think we're supposed to announce the name, but I can't see who it is. Okay, walk buddy, walk. Okay, here we are. So now we're back at our barn house. We gotta go over there, that hill to Grandma and Grandpa's. Subscribe. Linda just subscribe. Thank you, Linda. Sub wild edibles subscribed. Or oh, I is like, subscribed. I like watching wild edibles. Oh, um, yeah, you do watch that. There's one, well that, but um, there's another one called uh, the Black Black Forager. It's a African American young lady who has nothing to do with me socially, but we've just kind of bonded. <laughs> I message her <laughs> and. Uh, watch her content and she does as long as she doesn't get too political i absolutely love her content 
the Black Forager. So check her out. And then there's another girl I wanted to give a shout out. Driving horses with Alexis. Is that it? Oh yeah, she's a new Walk up. channel. She's only got 5,000 subs right now, and she's working draft horses, and she's a 14-year-old girl. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I see her too. I didn't know she's that young. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. So, and I messaged her and told her I'd give her a shout-out, because when I was starting out on YouTube, and I'd ask people with 100,000 subs for a shout-out or for advice, they wouldn't, they were not very friendly with that. Yeah. So. Okay. Nice so, her, her name was Driving Horses with Alexa? Or Alexis or something, maybe. But we, we can put a link later. Walk up. Somebody look it up real quick and comment. Do you want me to walk, walk up and walk alongside him? No. So they can see him go? Okay. I think it'd be good idea. Whoa. Whoa. And then we'll have to end here shortly because... When we unload. I have, we have company. <laughs> they're okay. family. They're not company. Okay. Here Take we go. Him. Walk over. Now you can see him this way. This is a little better. Except I'm walking backwards. I have him walk slow. Okay. Yeah, this is more interesting when you can see him. <laughs> Draft horse horses working with Alexa, somebody said. Shannon, thank you. Well, she won't know what hit her today if she gets about 10,000 subs. Yeah, that'd be awesome for her. Walk up. If you subscribe to her channel, tell her Homestead Horseman sent you. I don't know if you could hear JR, but he said if you subscribe to her channel, tell her that we sent her Homestead Horsemanship. Good job, buddy. Birdie? Somebody says, what about Birdie? That is a cute name. Cat said that. Birdie actually might suit her. <laughs> Louisa, that's pretty too. I like Louisa. Katie. My sister's Kate, so I don't know about that one. If you don't know what we're talking about, we have a new horse, so everybody's shooting out names for name ideas for her. A lot of people said Grace. Somebody said Eleanor, but I have a sister Grace and Eleanor, so those ones probably probably aren't gonna work. Hey, oh, we're on Grandma and Grandpa's farm now. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> show them a little creek when you walk over it. Okay, here I'll show you Grandma and Grandpa's farm a little bit. And you can tell it's them it flows, flows like that all year round, and yeah. that's what waters our pasture. So you probably heard them, but this little creek it runs through the, uh, Grandma and Grandpa's farm and our farm, and it's spring fed, and it's what waters our horses. It's really beautiful. They have. Oh, they're really beautiful old barns down here. Their farm is probably one of the prettiest farms I've ever been to. Okay, Em, I'm gonna look up how many subscribers we got and you can get back on afterwards. <laughs> okay. And we'll get to the... JR wants to see how many subscribers we have. I think all they can see is nine, 99, 900. You needed a breather anyways, buddy, huh? I don't think we're gonna make it. Nope. <laughs> it's only gone up about 10 people since we started. That's okay. That's yeah, good. That's good. We're but very I mean, thankful for that. Watching this, um, Jared was hoping we hit 100,000. But while we were on it, yeah. I think if we did it tomorrow. We would have. But oh, I'd say this this it, video will go today. Yeah. This time of year, though, you never know what the weather's gonna be like, and it's a really pretty day today. So we thought we better do this today. That and we had people coming over this afternoon. We couldn't put it off. <laughs> Margaret says, my sister Eleanor was very stubborn. Guess what? My sister Eleanor is very stubborn also. <laughs> That's funny. Walk up. Okay, so we're going to go all the way up to the house to unload the Get wood. Up. 
Hey, drop that. Yeah, you're right, Candy. Most are already subscribed on here for a live. I agree. Oliver and Bernie, somebody said. That's cute. I like that. We'll see. We have to ask yeah, Becca. She's our, she's, um, if it's not okay with Becca, then it's not okay. Good boy, get up. Nora, that's really pretty. Yeah. Nora's pretty. Okay, this is uh, JR's dad's workshop. He has his YouTube channel, Rosa Springworks. Yeah. And he uh, builds, well, he's kind of retired, but he builds and repairs musical instruments. Yeah, but... um, he builds his mandolins. They're really amazing. Ooh. 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 Whoa. I decided to give him one more break. This is a, it doesn't look like much of a grade, but this is a long hill. I want to just um, go out here so they can see him. Okay. Because we've done a lot behind. I'll let you get a head start. Okay. Don't have a creek coming under your house. Okay. <laughs> Sparrow. Sparrow. That's pretty. Princess. That works. <laughs> we had a dog. A uh, very special dog. Her name was Princess. She's no longer with us. She passed away. But she was very, pre very precious. And... The girls named her princess when she was little. <laughs> Is this good? Okay. Okay, this is JR's parents' house. I'm sure his mom loves that I'm showing you guys. But this little creek, it's dry right now because it's we've had no rain. <laughs> But usually there's water in it, and you can see right over there, it goes under the house. So, it's kind of a strange house. And the house is super long, too. It doesn't look as long on camera, but it's super long. And then, these were the old maid quarters on the right side there. So, kind of interesting. Ah, uh, Diane says she likes the picture of... The puppies. <laughs> I had fun taking those. They're so sweet. They feel like little teddy bears when you hold them. They are so sweet. Athena. Somebody said Athena. Somebody said Bluebell. That's kind of cute. That kind of suits her. Her registered name is Lakota, but with a D. And then we already have Lakota. So we're just thinking, and it just doesn't suit her. Okay, I'm going to wait for him to go through. We lose signal bad back here, so we're trying to make it work. Named Dove or Queen Anne Lace. Those are both pretty. Okay, he did it. He got his first load up here. I like the name Cinnamon, Deborah says. Which do you want me to do? Probably the lead rope would be best. Get in front of him, Teddy. Okay, buddy. All right. It's not going to be a little hard with the... Good job. You're a little hot now, huh? Yeah. Hi. Oh, good boy. Stand there. Let's switch. No, Oliver. No. Sorry, guys. Can't see very well. But Jared just took the firewood out. No, stand there. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, there you are. Now we gotta go give them kids a ride. So they can stay on for that or they 
into back here what do you think I think I'm stuck dump the load right behind this tank oh. let him go okay back up back up back 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 up bud you're pushing again two 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 Boy, I got out from under that log that was under the tire. That was good. Walk. Walk. Good job. Okay. Okay, we went on. Oh, so, we're going to take them all the way back to the house? Yeah, we're going to take them back. Okay, if you guys want to stay on. We're well, gonna... we're going to give all four, them kids in that minivan a ride, so they might want to see us take off on that. <laughs> okay. They like little kids. I about fell. <laughs> needs a dump trailer. It's actually, it does dump. You just have to lift it. Yeah, that wasn't no problem for me to dump by hand. It was quicker by hand than it would be with a motor anyway. Yeah. Got big guns like these, by gosh. Hey, did you like it? So, we are going, you may have watched seen that. What's your rocks? In the, um, that last video we did, but we're gonna go to um, the auction that's coming Wednesday, I believe. It's the um, kind of like the anniversary of the first time we saw Oliver. Um, and in Cuba, we went to that auction and that's where we saw him for the first time. So that's gonna be kind of fun, but we won't get the video out on Wednesday of going there. It'll probably be a couple weeks before it's out. We'll probably put a little footage of it on our Patreon. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Um, which I wanted to mention anyway, because if you need a last minute gift idea for someone who likes this channel, our Patreon uh, link is always in the description. I think it's as low as $5 to join, and what you get there is it's an easier way for us to interact with our fan, uh, like kind of our fan club, we call it, our support group. And we put unedited daily content, not, not every day, but like regular run-of-the-mill daily stuff we put on there uh that we don't have to spend time editing and like a video like wednesday when we go to the horse sale we'll have you know three or hour, four hours worth of footage and it'll take emory 20 or 30 hours to edit it and then me do the hour or two for me to do the voiceovers and then the artwork it's you know it's a 40 hour process so you don't get to see us as much as we like as much stuff as we have to show you but on Patreon, we are able to just put unedited stuff there that's yeah. not going to hurt any algorithms we or anything. We mostly just shoot it with our phone and then put it up within, you know, an hour or so. Okay. Or, or we shoot it and get an accumulation of videos and then put all the videos up at once. <laughs> Get up, bud. Okay. I would think other people be clicking on new though as the other ones click off. Yeah. Here's the chicken house. Cool story. Uh I killed a chick uh snake one time when I was a kid. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa. That's awesome, Kathy. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. So a snake one time was so big it ate an entire chicken. <laughs> and whoa. This was back when Steve Irwin was my hero. I caught that snake out of there and drug it out of that chicken house. And I was all the way across this road when I finally got the snake. Ooh, man. The snake's head came out of that chicken house. <laughs> so um, it was a little over like nine feet long, which w would be a new state record for a black snake. But I didn't think about calling in the conservation to verify the record at the time. I just hauled the snake off and let it go. Um, so... Fun times. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, though, that I had a snake big enough to eat a whole chicken. If anybody knows black snakes, they normally just eat the eggs. Oh, I have to get to tell him to walk, so I'm going to stop him and back him up. Back up. Back up. Back. He is a good boy. Back up. Back up. Back up. He's starting to sweat a little oh. bit. It's a warm day out. 
Show them the ducks. Okay, here comes oh. Grandma's ducks. If they come too close to me, though, guys, we'll be running. I'm not very fond of birds. That's why we don't have chickens. <laughs> Okay, get up. here we go. Trot. Trot. Get up. Get up. Get up. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Yeah, that's a steep little, Good boy. little hill to get up. Good boy. <laughs> They're still shooting out names. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, I, we didn't realize that would be so popular naming her. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to choose. <laughs> oh, I messed this up. How do I fix that? Okay, get up, bud. Strap has never had a problem staying straight before, but today it just will not stay straight. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, trot. So right up here, trot. JR started cutting down this tree. We're actually going to be, we've decided to make an outdoor riding arena right up here. But who knows when it'll actually be done. But the idea is there. So this tree right up here, it'll start just past that. Right? Yeah. And then this fence will go back behind it. Yeah, and there's and like a little, field there's a little, get up, a little high point of dirt here I'll push to help level yeah, it. Yeah, we'll kind of level it out. And it'll, it'll only be like 100 feet by maybe 60 feet or so, yeah. maybe a little bigger. And then I'm going to do a 45 foot round pin over there yeah. uh, along the creek. I'll take this fence out and this will become yard up until the, yeah. the area. It'll be really nice. Okay. Walk up. <laughs> we'll see if anybody wants to ride. I think Jared's going to show that. Yeah, but I think it'll be a long one. He's tired. Yeah. But the kids will like it. I'd say let's go ahead and end it. Okay. It's already been half an hour almost. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh, Ready? Yeah. You want to say something to end it? Yeah, just thanks. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for subscri subscribing. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the name ideas. Yeah, we'll go through the name ideas and we'll try to let you guys know before next week, probably. Yeah. Oliver did a pretty good job. He's going to give a couple rides, I think, to the, the, our little nieces and nephews, and then he'll be done for the day. So we'll talk to you guys next time. Okay, who wants a ride? <laughs>